He says, my name's Oliver, and this is my second trip up Grouse Mountain. No pressure, guys. fall over. We'll have to keep recording until they fall over.
on, slow coach. Oh, I never told Mail? you. Mail? Right? Oh, very good. good. Yeah. <laughs> and if you, if you ever not, if you don't know, and if you're wondering, there is one distinct feature about Milo uh -huh. that distinguishes him from females. Do you know what part that may be? Well, the usual. At the bottom. Yeah. yeah. So just between your flippers? <laughs> yes. See that little bump just yeah. above his tail? Yeah. Yeah. So those would be his male parts. That's right. So Milo here, definitely male. Yeah, and the girls don't have them, right? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. So I noticed you helped us precisely make up Elfin's bucket, is that right? Oh, that's right, Yeah, yes. so do you remember how much food? 1.8 uh, kilos. 1.8 kilos, yeah, good memory, good stuff. So Milo here actually has the same amount, 1.8 kilos. And we feed Milo around usually four times. Right. So four times uh, one point eight. So at the end of the day, he usually gets around six and a half kilos of food. Gosh, that's a lot. So that's a lot of food. So it's about thirteen to fourteen pounds of food. Yeah. And Milo here weighs about maybe 34, 34 kilos. So um, it's quite a bit of food for him. Do you like to dive? Yeah, they do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Wow. Are you ready? Usually. They don't, uh, they're so hungry that the clam doesn't get much time to get to the bottom. No. <laughs> so we have Milo living in this habitat, two other sea artists uh -huh. in the other exhibit. Do you know where they would live out in the ocean? Do you remember? Yes, yes, so all around the coast. Of, yeah. Um, or more specifically, what kind of habitat? Do you remember? Um, Paulie, well, really, Paulie really showed you a prop. Yeah, in the kelp forest. Yeah, yeah. And the long yeah. doing yeah. green yeah. or just choose to not do it at all because it is very, very cold. Yeah. Um, but sea yeah. otters, unlike yeah, most other marine mammals, <laughs> don't have blubber or fat that kind comes of in the water. Sea otters do rely on their armpits. Oh, yeah. They actually have yeah. buckets. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's kind of like yeah. a baggy yeah. square. Yeah. If you were to place your thumb on the side of the sea otter, or if they find a rock, but then that area just underneath your thumb print, you would actually have more hair underneath that small area that you have hair on your entire body. It's an extremely dense amount of million years of swimming, and it helps to keep them warm in that very, very cold water that they live in. But they have to take very good care of their fur. They generally groom their fur for a good portion of their natural habitat. Do you like a peace tank? Oh yeah, you know what I Victoria's waiting. Do you want to try and reduce the problem of the Mano coastline? Simple small steps do help out in big ways eventually. We can all make a difference. Now that's going to end the formal part of my talk, guys. You're welcome to hang out. Continue watching me while being fed. The otters in the lower exhibit, Elton and Tando, are also being fed, so you can go check them out as well. But on behalf of myself, the trainers here, and our lovely sea otters, thank you so much for coming to the Vancouver Aquarium. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for coming to the Vancouver Aquarium. Yeah. With their hands. I've got a couple of pictures of, yeah. of where, I don't know which one, but um, of your otters yeah. from last year when no. we came.